What's up, y'all? It's your girl Red back at it again with another video. I need to come up with like a theme song, like get somebody in the studio or something. Not me, but somebody like we need to make that a song. That's awkward. Um, what's up, y'all? Um, first, I want to say, excuse me, because I'm tired. Whew, Lord have mercy. Um, thank you guys for coming here. Thank you for being in my home, up on the channel. Um, if you're new here, hey, girl, guy, king, queen, what's up? Go ahead and click that red subscribe button because it's free. Go ahead and click that thumbs up button and click on that bell to be notified every time I upload a video, whether it's a video about business, a video about beauty, a video about hair, a video about me vlogging, whatever I decide to upload on here, you can get notified every time I get uploaded. So go ahead and click that bell notification bell so you can be notified with the bell. That notifies you. And also, if you are not new here, welcome back fam, Red Royalty, what's up? Y'all go ahead and put your red hearts in the comment section right now. Comment Red Royalty crew, gang, swang whatever club click whatever we are y'all go ahead and show y'all love in the comment section i love y'all so so much i normally like and love everybody's comments um that i see so you guys y'all i'm tired y'all go ahead and do that for me so if you clicked on the video you know exactly why we're here i am about to go back to the old school red not old school but like old to me like kind of new to y'all like whatever i'm about to drop some major heat major gems like i'm about to give you all the info okay so if you are a business owner and you sell a product whether it's lip gloss um lip scrubs lip oils excuse me y'all i am exhausted body scrubs body oils anything that you can put inside of a box this video is for you if you want your own custom type box this video is for you if you need to find a vendor or a few this video is for you so go ahead click that rip pause right now click the red subscribe button and let's get into it so if you guys do not already know my name is kira um but everybody calls me red two d's don't forget the second d and i own a business called by red beauty i currently sell lip glosses few lip oils i'm coming out with a skincare line um i'm coming out with a lot of new things in 2021 right now it's just a beauty brand i do not do wholesale i'm not a wholesaler i do have a few wholesale items that i'm going to be getting rid of pretty soon but once those things are gone it's just going to be my brand things like that so a few months ago i think for my very first restock we're gonna have a yawn count at this point for my very first restock i created my lip gloss boxes this is the first box i had let me put this back together this is the first box i ever had and i created this um myself i back when i first wanted to do lip gloss back in february i started my business in february i wanted to have a box like this like i wanted it to be red and i wanted it to look like it was dripping and white or whatever i just always knew red and white were going to be my colors with a dash of black if i had it you know depending i'm glad i did like the dash because you guys will see later on with future products but um yeah so i always wanted it to look like this so i designed this box myself this of course is my logo that i also created myself um and then i um told my vendor what i wanted on the back of the box like i told them like hey um where i wanted everything i sent them the icon the little symbols my logo all of that like i sent them all this information i'm gonna let you guys know how to do all 
Yeah, go. Oh, I'll let y'all know how to do all the information, what everything looks like, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, so um, there's some type of like little fly thing in here, y'all. I'm live. I literally live like next to the woods. No matter how fast I close my doors or whatever, there's always something coming in here. Oh, so back in August, I launched my my first lip gloss boxes, and these are my tubes that go inside of this box. These tubes, if you guys see me looking this way, I'm looking at my mirror, it's my viewfinder. Don't know why I'm looking at it, like I'm not in focus. But these are my lip gloss tubes that I have. I got this from my vendor. And then literally, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was like, okay, I want boxes, whatever. Instead of me trying to find another um, lip gloss box vendor because I looked for them since February like I knew that I wanted boxes eventually I just didn't have the funds for it whatever I honestly the first step you need to do whoever you get your lip gloss tubes from ask that vendor if they make lip gloss boxes nine times out of ten I promise you they do you just don't know that it's a part of their store so that's what I did this first time the who I bought my tubes from I was like hey do you make a box that could go with my tube and they were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, bet. So that's how I got my box. So I knew the design I wanted. You guys can go on to Canva to create a design. You guys can go on Fonto. Go on Microsoft Paint if you want to. Wherever you know how to be creative. Um, Photoshop. Wherever that is, create your design, have your logo, be creative, y'all. Like, think outside the box. Look at these larger companies like Fenty and Huda Beauty and whoever else, Bobby Brown, whatever. Look at their packaging. Look at what they're doing. You want something more simple, more sleek, whatever. Most of the time, these vendors do not charge you for extra stuff. If they do, they are definitely manipulate dipping you but like my vendor did not charge me for no extra nothing no extra size whatever i told them exactly what i wanted sent them everything i wanted told them the colors they printed it one simple price that was it so think outside the box like i'm not saying it's not okay to have this like oh a pink box and or a black box or a white box whatever think outside the box don't just do one color do like some flowers or something that's a part of your brand or whatever like when you see this it's not just red like we dripping like i wanted this and then you know like these were really successful right cool i wanted to get one for my squeeze tubes you guys saw the video um like it's a video a while back in regards to um my inventory i want to get boxes for these right because i wanted it to have like i wanted it to be like cohesive like everybody had a two um and i'm going to talk about that box mistakes that i made how i fixed them and so you guys don't have to do those mistakes either right so let's first talk about uh i'm not gonna lie to y'all i did not write notes down for this so i'm low-key all over the place so just stay and bear with me okay so when it comes to the lip gloss box this is what you see when you order but this is how they come one second i'm trying to get everything i don't know why i didn't just had this stuff ready for y'all like i'm not prepared this is what you see when you get them in the mail they're gonna come like this they're gonna be flat inside of a rubber band however your vendor put them however many you have that's gonna be in your box when you take it out individually this is what it's gonna look like flat right so this time i got lucky because i asked my vendor like hey do you have a specific lip gloss box size for this tube that you already sold me they told me what the size was and i was like, okay great i told them the number i wanted design went from there right but if you're going with a brand new vendor like say you want to get um a box made for this lip scrub right this is not my lip scrub by the way um, but say you want to get a box made for this lip scrub. You need to measure this lip scrub. So I want you guys to go to Dollar Tree. If you don't already, get you a tape measure, okay? They like to, the vendors on the other side of the world, in Asia, China, they like to measure in centimeters, U.S. centimeters, right? So you are going to take your lip gloss tube. And you are going to measure your lip gloss tube, Okay measure the tube see how long it is add 
point add two uh milli was it millimeters this is upside down why y'all tell me add two millimeters so however long this is you're gonna measure it out right add two millimeters to the bottom you just need two you're gonna do the same thing across it right measure it across obviously this is like bootleg right now but measure it across same thing add two milliliters millimeters add two millimeters right so say if this was um how long is this i wish i had my exact measurements but i don't so say this is 120 right i would add one i would do 122 and then say this was 10 right i would do 12 right 122 12. I would just add two just to be safe. You need some you need some wiggle room in here. You hear this? It's because I have wiggle room in here. I'm able to, as you can see in the box as well, I have some space. It's not the same um, height as the, the tube. I have some space, okay? Always add two millimeters to however long your stuff is. It's always gonna be in centimeters, okay? Always gonna be in centimeters, right? So once you have your measurements, you have your design, you tell them exactly how you want it. Um, I'm going to put a picture maybe right here. This is what my vendor initially sent me. And I was like, hey, that's not what I wanted. I told them what to change, where to put things, et cetera, et cetera. And they were able to do that. And this is the product I came out with. Super duper excited about it. I was super happy when it came into the mail. It was great. I literally typed all this out myself. I just said, hey, put this on the opposite, et cetera, et cetera. Boom. Sent them my logo. I sent them this logo because this is my logo when it goes on red backgrounds. And then they just inverted it to the white. Even though this isn't my white logo, but I liked it because the box is only red and white. Okay. So that's how I got my first lip gloss tube. Cool, right? So remember I said, you guys, I want to get a tube. I mean, a box for my squeeze tube so i was like okay cool so i thought i was big big boss and big money and i and i thought i knew what i was doing right so i did my little measurements i was like okay cool i measured it however long it was and my two millimeters then i messed up so you see this part right if you're trying to get boxes for your squeeze tubes pay attention to this okay i like i said thought i was big money right so then i measured it this way so I was like, okay, cool, that's whatever it is, like 30-something, whatever. So I was like, hey, I know my measurements. Cool, 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 these are my measurements, it's my design. Boom, bam, whatever, cool, make it happen. They was like, okay, cool. I didn't tell them it was for a squeeze tube. I was just like, hey, I got, I wanna order more of my red boxes and I want these new boxes, whatever, whatever. They was like, okay, cool. So they made the boxes, you know, I pay my money, they made the boxes, cool, 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 bam, 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 right? basically what i wanted i wanted this red box and then i wanted a partner white box right so they sent me the picture and i'm looking at the picture and i'm like yo that looked too big but i'm like nah 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 maybe maybe it's just the picture maybe i'm tripping so i said hey it looks kind of big like bigger than i thought like whatever whatever so they were so my vendor was like her name is susan susan was like well, I don't know if that's her real name, but that's her name on Alibaba. She was like, well, what do you need the box for? And I was like, oh, my squeeze tubes, whatever, whatever. Like, I got these custom tubes. They're like a custom size, da, da, da. And she was like, and so she sent me a picture, right? I will put all this right here. Like, y'all getting all the details. She sent me a picture of what their squeeze tube looked like compared to, like, the box, everything like that. And I was like, oh, my God, I didn't mess up. So... I'm waiting on the box to come in the mail, right? And I'm just like, okay, maybe it's not gonna be too bad. Like, I know I did not waste no money on the box, right? Y'all, I'm about to show y'all this box. So again, this is the wand tube. This <laughs> is the squeeze tube. What squeeze tube going in here? Girl, y'all, so I got these in the mail. And I was like, I was like, y'all, 
what am I going to do? I text my best friend. I said, sir, what am I going to do with this? And he was like, I don't know what you're going to do. And I was like, I'm going to figure it out because I'm not going to waste no money. So I was like, okay, let me see what happened. Let me see where I went wrong. Mind you, math was my favorite subject in school. I love math. I love all that. So I'm like, I'm going to figure out where I went wrong because I know I did something wrong. So when you guys are doing your squeeze tubes, right? What happened, like I said, like I showed you on, the, on that video, on the picture right here, right? So doing the wand tube was easy. There was no, everything was the same around. This part and this part are two different um, measurements. This is way wider than what this is. So I was just like, oh, I want to put, I want to be able to put this squeeze tube directly in there, right? So that's what I did my measurement on. As you can see, I got the like the two little extra, you know, that's what I did my measurement on. Perfect height, right? Perfect height. Oop, let me back up. Perfect height. Technically perfect um length, but or width, whatever, but it's too much. So when I put my okay, you guys can see this. When I put the bottom diagonal like this, right? Can I see this? Hold up. When I put a diagonal like this, I'm like, oh, like this is too much. Like it's too much for one. So I was like, what am I going to do with this? Like I have to figure out what to do. Let me show you how you can make a mistake in a productivity, right? Cool. One squeeze tube, put it down in here, face down, diagonal, right? Snap. Diagonal, right? Get another squeeze tube. Boom, I'm gonna put this in right side up, diagonal or in there straight, whatever. It doesn't really matter, boom. So instead of me just wanting to get the single lip gloss boxes, I accidentally made a duo lip gloss box container and I'm going to have surprise lip gloss shades in these boxes. So um even though i technically made a mistake at first i figured out how to still use these boxes i'm not gonna waste money i'm not gonna waste product i just realized i just have to make way more squeeze tubes than i had to before and that's okay but i still love the box so of course as soon as i got these boxes i was like, okay i made a mistake let me figure out how to fix it so if you guys ever come into this mistake or just want to make sure that you're doing things correctly always double check your measurements okay double check your measurements so what i decided to do um i did a lot of math stuff not gonna lie to you i found like the hypotenuse did some division all this and that and i was able to do my correct box sizes um but what you can do and i wish i had the new boxes here they're actually gonna get here next week um so they won't be inside of this video but i may put them on like um something later so you guys follow me on instagram you, you're gonna see them later but they're literally gonna look just like this just smaller just for one um but you can measure your top just like you did the wand tube or you can do all this extra math that i did if i try to explain that it's gonna be a lot so i'm not even gonna do that just don't measure this part when you're doing your lip gloss boxes okay and I, I wish I can tell you an easy way to figure out how to do it, but this is the best way for you to get that measurement is to measure this and maybe add four instead of two, um, just to have a little wiggle room. Let me see. Oh, I wouldn't be able to check it right now, but I was able to, to figure out how to use this and I'm super excited. So for my restock that I'm going to be having on October 24th, there is going to be a um, surprise duo lip gloss box, which is this. You're going to get two random lip gloss colors. It could be literally anything I have on my site or stuff that I have just um, random. Like who knows what it could be, but they're going to be at a discount price inside these boxes. I'm super excited. So what I decided to do for this design, like I said, I wanted to just have a sister box to my um original red one so i wanted to do let me scoot this up just a little bit 
I want to do a white box with red invert. This is my original white logo. This is my original logo in general. And of course, this is my red version. And instead of me doing the same exact logo at the bottom, I decided to have my original logo on the white part here. And then they decided to use the same exact logo on the bottom. So instead of it being red and white like my original box, they decided to do the touch of black. And I'm actually very happy about that because this box has the touch of black on there. So again, design you guys' boxes, your designs in Canva, Fonto, whatever other apps you have, um, a PowerPoint, wherever you can be creative, create the, create the design, create the logo, get everything printed. I literally said, I want the same exact text. All they had to do, I guess, on whatever programs they have, they just had to make it larger, whatever, same exact text, same exact icons, literally the same exact box, just slightly different. So when I was like, hey, gave them the new measurements and paid for my new boxes for the, the one boxes, I was like, hey, um, same exact design, just the new dimensions, right? And they were like, oh, well, we have different squeeze tubes here. Um, it may not fit, whatever, whatever. And I was like, hey, I have my own squeeze tubes. I already know what size they are, everything like that. I've double checked it. I'm cool with the, the, res the dimensions. Go ahead and send them. So hopefully everything is fine when they come in. And yeah, so, but y'all, that's how you create your own lip gloss box, okay? Like, I know that was probably a lot of information, and I hope you guys were taking notes as much as possible, um, but that's how you do it. Make sure you have your correct dimensions, make sure you have your design, um, your vendor, and your payment, basically. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and put a few vendors down in the description box below. Um, none of these are my personal vendor, but these are people I have talked to over the past almost year in regards to pricing and when it comes to custom boxes, lip gloss boxes, people who um, I've seen use them, stuff like that. So you guys go ahead and use free game if you don't already know these vendors already. Um, but yeah, y'all. So if you guys have any additional questions when it comes to custom box making or custom packaging in general, Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, I'll be able, to, I'll answer it as best as I can. Um, yeah. Also, too, there I was supposed to make another video that I never got to make. One second. I was supposed to make a video about how to make your own lip gloss labels. These are my older labels, and I really do um, love them. But I am making new labels for my new glosses and for my um my older shades as well so you guys go ahead and put a put a purple heart in the comment section if you guys still want me to make this video on how you can make your own labels for your lip gloss boxes i plan to make i'm not going to make any labels for these boxes because i know they're going to be um random wild card boxes but the smaller ones i'm going to make them just like how i made for the red boxes so everything is going to have a label so once someone orders something i can just excuse me i can just pull and go from where I need to go, right? So yeah, so put a purple heart in the comment section if you guys still want me to um, make that video. I can definitely still do that because I have to, like I said, make so many new labels for all these new glosses that I have. I'm taking new pictures, doing new designs, all of that. So I can show you guys how to do really cool stuff. Like I'm actually low key excited about it. So even if you guys don't put purple hearts down there, I'm probably gonna make it anyway because yeah. So thank you guys so, so much for continuing to be here. Thank you guys also for 12K. That's lit. Um, Road to 20K now. Not really a set day on when to do that, but I'm just super excited to have went from 400 in March to now 12K in September. Super amazing. You guys are awesome. I love y'all so, so much. Um, but of course, God loves you more. I hope you guys we're very informed in this video and I hope you guys were able to learn something. Please share this with everyone that's trying to get custom packaging. Like I said, if you're trying to even get it, this is not my bottle, but if you're trying to get for a dropper bottle, same thing, measure your bottle, length, width, 
we <laughs> with all of that give them your dimensions they're going to tell you the price about how much it is your design payment all that boom you get it you're good so this isn't just for lip gloss boxes it's for any type of product that you have that you just want to have custom packaging for okay so i love y'all but god loves you more and i will see y'all in the next video peace